I'm jo joined now uh, from the Bloomberg Sovereign Debt Conference by the Finance Minister of Luxembourg, Luke Frieden. Thank you very much indeed for taking like, time out to join us today. I know you're due to speak quite soon. Looking at the uh, overall package that, uh, that uh, Europe came up with, a trillion dollars, is that enough? I think it's enough for the time being because we have shown that we are determined to support the euro as a currency and the member states of the euro. But of course, that doesn't mean that we just borrow money to some countries, but uh, we at the same time are encouraging countries to do some fiscal consolidation efforts. And that's what is going on at this moment. And therefore, I strongly disagree with what George Soros said. I think it's very important that we do not only look at the short term, but fiscal sustainability, i.e. having uh, sound financial policies in all EU Eurozone countries in the long term, that is what matters. And that's why I think that Germany is doing the right thing. Do you think that there is a, a sort of a split occurring coming up to the G20? I don't want to play it up too much, but it does seem that President Obama and indeed the Fed are still very concerned about the fragile economic recovery. And they do seem increasingly worried about what's going on in Europe. There does seem some divergence. We discussed about that. But the, when we see that the economy is again growing, even if it's at a slow pace, about 1% uh, in the euro area, then we think the right time has come to decrease uh, the budget deficits and to reduce that. And therefore, we think that as of uh, 2011, the right time has come to do the exit strategy. If we don't do that, I think the long term, Europe will not be competitive anymore. And therefore, it will be a huge problem for all of our European economies. And that's why there's no alternative to fiscal consolidation. And that's why all countries in the Eurozone and outside the Eurozone have to go that path. In the short term, it might have a small impact on growth, mm. but in the long term, it's the right policies to support growth for the future. Well, looking at the longer term as well, do you think we're going to have to have more of a common fiscal policy in Europe for the euro to work so that we don't get this uh, divergence that we've seen uh, and that was very much laid bare uh, in this sovereign debt crisis? Very much so. I think we need um, more coordination, not only of our budgetary policies, but also of our economic policies. There have been too many imbalances and therefore we need to give ourselves criteria to measure uh, those uh, economic fundamentals and we need to approve national policies in light of what is going on in other European uh, countries. Mm. So discussing it at, uh, in common meetings, this doesn't take away any of the sovereign rights, but sovereignty in a monetary union has to be exercised uh, together. Now, the other thing that uh, obviously they are concerned about in the United States is that uh, the austerity measures that are being put in place are too severe. We've just had a budget here in the UK with some pretty severe spending cuts as well, and that it may indeed cause double dip recessions. Are you convinced that the impact of these austerity measures isn't going to lead to negative growth? It will not lead to negative growth because these are intelligent uh, measures. Intelligent in the sense that they have been chosen not as to break the uh, fragile growth, but to make sure that um, we will not have debts which will not be able to finance anymore on the markets. Uh, the debt uh, in the European Union, in the Eurozone, is too high right now, so we have gradually to decrease it. If we don't do that, in the short term, again, we might have uh, some positive aspects, but in the long term, Europe will have no future. So we have to do these policies, and I don't think that these austerity measures um, are uh, negative uh, to the long-term growth. How do you view the ECB's role and the intervention that's been made so far? Would you like to see more intervention? I think most of the actions taken by the ECB were very positive during the crisis and even before the crisis. I think we have, um, we have price stability over the past 10 years. We shouldn't forget that. And that is, the, that is due to the excellent work of the ECB. The ECB took some um, uh, exceptional measures uh, during the recent crisis. But to the extent that they withdraw immediately afterwards uh, the liquidity, I think uh, from a political point of view, uh, they did the right thing. They are independent. And I think we have um, in the government's full trust in the, um, in the leadership of the ECB. I think they are doing the right thing. Well, we've seen Germany uh, weigh in with the ban on short selling. How do you think that markets can be encouraged to act responsibly? First of all, I think that uh, such action should be taken at the European level. Um, that goes for short selling, that also goes for the bank levy. I think we need European decisions on this. 
um, and not some individual uh, measures. Mm -hmm. And then I think uh, markets have to understand that we try to avoid too risky uh, transactions which in the long term may lead to crises such as the ones we have seen. Not everything in short sellings is bad, so I think we should not take populistic measures just to please uh, the public opinion. We should very carefully analyze various risky transactions, uh, all their pros and cons, and then come to European uh, decisions. Now, uh, S&P, the head of S&P, has today said that there's a 14% uh, chance that Greece will default. What is your thought on that? Greece will not default because they are on a close monitoring uh, by all the uh, Eurozone members. So we are monitoring on a monthly basis together with the ECB and the European Commission how they implement uh, their fiscal consolidation program. And we stand ready to support Greece if uh, something exceptional goes wrong. And I think the decisions we took uh, at European level uh, are going into that direction. Greece is doing the right thing, and Greece will manage to solve these problems with our help. Luke Frieden, Finance Minister of Luxembourg, thank you so much for joining us here on Bloomberg today. Thank you.